dwnproductions.net. Masks, busts, props, and custom work. If you want something made, hit up dwnproductions.net. Fastcustomshirts.com. Hundreds of t-shirt designs, all at reasonable prices. And we do custom work, too. So I watched a 2024 movie, Joe. Can you believe it? Still making movies, Tom. That's right. Uh, got theatrical release? No, not not in the U.S. <laughs> okay. This was straight to you. <laughs> uh, Darkness of Man. The hit new Jean-Claude Van Damme content, I guess. No, it's a movie. Fuck that. It's an actual movie. Ah, oh, shit. So what is Jean-Claude in this one? At a certain point, I don't know, probably halfway through year one, I'm just like, yeah, I can't buy this guy as any character in every movie. He's just going to be JCVD with a different haircut. <laughs> so uh, in this one, he is who he is, I guess. He's a, he's a down on his luck or I guess he's a CIA guy or an ex-CIA guy, but this is like some neo-noir bullshit, dude. It wants to be some Frank Miller shit so bad. Like, He'll be walking out of his car to a motel parking lot up to his motel room. Oh, extended stay motels. This is where people go when they hit rock bottom or they just don't care about the lifes anymore. And it's just a bunch of cornball voiceover shit like that through the whole movie. Um... Back in Hong Kong or some Asian place, uh, he made a pack. Okay, Tom, get your shit together. <laughs> What's this movie about? Okay, so a couple, I don't know, 15 years ago, let's say, uh, JCVD meets up in a diner with some Asian lady. She says, hey, shit's going down at this place. If anything happens to me, take care of my son. And then she fucks off. He goes to the place where they're supposedly getting drugs or some shit. Uh, he gets shot. He gets a call from the lady. She's getting fucking murdered. So he survives. And 15 years later, he goes to the States to, you know, watch over this kid's lady. But this kid has a family. Like, this kid has a family. Uh, his grandpa owns a convenience store, and his uh, uncle, I guess. Would it be his uncle? Grandpa's kid. That would be uncle because his mom was the sister. So uh, his uncle's like the big-time uh, Yakuza triad guy in their region of L.A. or wherever the hell they are in uh pretty much jean claude's just like this kid's driver <laughs> so it turns out the yakuza and the fucking uh russian mob they're going up against each other for uh you know turf and drug wars they're selling bath salts there's a line then in the movie. It's like, oh, yeah, it's that new shit. It's that higher grade. You remember that eat your fucking face off shit from a few years ago? <laughs> I was just like, fuck you. <laughs> so JCVD gets in the middle of it, and there's twists and turns and thrills and chills. And, oh, in the end. You know, uh, he runs off with this little boy. <laughs> Questionable. Uh, I mean, it was fine. Uh, it had some good lighting. It looked nice. It was shot so... No, it wasn't. Like, there was some cool neon lighting outside of the uh, convenience store and shit. But uh, there's some okay gore in it. It's a low-budget movie, but, I mean, there's some okay gore in it uh it's watchable it's just real fucking cornball shit because a 
Oh, we want to be Frank Miller. Listen to this stupid fucking, oh, I was thinking about my life in this dark alleyway. Shut up. Fuck off. It's just that kind of shit. So uh, it's not going to make a list either way. I mean, it might. I don't have much on either list. Yeah, same. I do have a list of 2024 movies to watch, but yeah, it's uh it's it's okay, I guess, kind of fucking dumb and a little annoying at parts. Like there's a there's a part where it's like, hey, we're gonna do this awesome thing where we see the fight from inside of the van and we look out through the windshield, so you just kind of see the fight in the background. And then you got his fucking dickhead drug dealer guy going like, oh, man, that's fucking gnarly. Can you believe it? And it's like, yeah, well, this sucks. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it was it was okay. Uh, kind of sucked, though, but it was okay. It was okay. All right. Five out of ten. 